Hi, this is Evans Nicholson from Technical Product and Solutions Marketing here at ServiceNow. And today I'm going to show you a short demo on IT operations management with a focus on visibility, service mapping, and the importance of the single source of truth for the ServiceNow platform, the CMDB. You'll see how service mapping provides application and business context in your environment so that you can connect the dots and understand relationships between the many, many different systems and configuration items that make up your landscape. This is helpful when troubleshooting complex issues, as well as understanding the impact of a planned change and troubleshooting a failed change, for instance. So this is the service operations workspace, the services view. We get this consolidated view thanks in part to service mapping, where related configuration items are grouped together in order to provide business context. Looking at things in this way from a high level services view is important because this is the way customers and end users experience digital offerings. They don't really care that SQL is having an issue or that a web server is experiencing high latency. They just care that the service or services are up and running and performing as expected. So today our operations engineer, Amelia, wants to start troubleshooting an issue with a mission critical service. Alerts are grouped together in a logical way thanks to ITOM event management. Amelia can troubleshoot by diving into any of the alerts or groups of alerts at the bottom of the page, or she can choose to view things by going into the service map. Here we get a top-down, outside-in, interactive view of all the configuration items associated with this critical business service. We can see at the bottom, marked in red, that there's an issue with an Oracle server, which is cascaded up the stack. We get a detailed table of all alerts related to that CI, impact on other CIs, and even recent changes. Service maps are a great way to visually identify possible issues contributing to the larger service outage, while at the same time getting access to all the pieces of information that you need to accurately troubleshoot and resolve. Amelia sees that there was a modification made on the Oracle server. Now this allows her to backtrack and identify changes that may be causing unintended consequences. She can even access performance metrics on the VM directly from the service map. This helps so she can quickly determine if this is a standard VM performance issue instead of being related to the file change on the Oracle server itself. The ServiceNow service mapping uses advanced technologies such as machine learning and AI to automate service maps and improve and expand existing maps with valid connection suggestions. This has really helped Amelia and the team speed up their mapping process. It's a huge time saver and it allows the team to spend less time configuring their CMDB and more time making sure critical services and applications are running smoothly. The Application Service Readiness page provides a handy checklist of items that need to be completed in order for this to run. So there's no jumping back and forth between an install guide and the ServiceNow platform. It's all right here. ServiceNow machine learning automatically classifies in categories the discovered running processes and traffic connections as application fingerprints. It can also provide automated service suggestions where you can review candidates and create services with built-in maps in just a few clicks. Here, Amelia can review the proposed application service candidates. So based on fingerprinting, this looks like Java, walks like Java, smells like Java. Anyway, you get the idea. For any suggestion, she can preview a map and even create the application service directly from this page. Service maps are created by establishing connections between the different objects of digital environments. These are the small pieces or large pieces of the bigger picture, things like servers, laptops, switches, containers, etc. Once those items are written into the ServiceNow CMDB, we call them configuration items. And the way we populate the CMDB is called discovery. Here's a good view of the types of things this particular CMDB contains as configuration items. Once information or metadata about an object is in the CMDB, it can be accessed by any workflow or workspace, which means it can be used by multiple personas across the organization. Whether it's on-premises, cloud resources, containers, and even software running within containers, it's all accessible once it's in the CMDB. Out-of-box workspaces and automation options make it easy to connect the dots and automate across an often complicated hybrid cloud setup. For more information on IT operations management, check out the product section of servicenow.com.